The UC Riverside men's and women's cross-country teams hosted the 30th annual UC Riverside Invitational on Saturday, September 18th at the Agricultural Operations Course. The Invitational was divided into three races, two women's 5K runs and one men's 8K race. In total, there were 59 teams and 632 individuals that participated in the 30th annual running of the event. On the women's side, sophomore Demajeria Dubose finished in 9th place to lead the Highlanders, helping them to a 4th place overall finish in the 24-team field. Her time of 17 minutes, 29.1 seconds, is the 8th fastest ever for a UC Riverside runner since the Ag Ops course took on its current configuration in 2004. Sophomore Katie Daly finished in 17th place with a time of 17 minutes, 36.5 seconds, while senior Margaret Sicker rounded out the top three for the Highlanders with a time of 17 minutes, 46.1 seconds to finish in 27th place. Loyola Marymount's Tara Erdman won the race with a time of 16 minutes, 45.4 seconds, as the Lions took third overall. Arkansas won the team title, placing four of their runners in the top eight scores and all seven in the top 24 while Southern Utah finished in second place. Um, my plan going into the race was to be relaxed, stay relaxed, and um, start start off good in a good place and then pick up people as the race um, went on. And I think I did pretty well doing that. I um, mentally in my head, I had to tell myself to relax, uh, like stay relaxed, calm down, and make sure I don't have negative thoughts so that um, I could do well, and I didn't. I think I, I PR by one second, so it's it's pretty it feels good. But I was hoping to get lower in the 1720. So in the beginning, it was really intense. I got kind of pushed around a little bit, but you know, got to stay strong and keep moving. On the men's side, junior Chad Hall finished in fourth place to pace the Highlanders, helping them place second overall to the nationally ranked BYU Cougars. Hall's time of 24 minutes, 13.0 seconds, was four seconds faster than his eighth place finish from a year ago. Freshman Seth Totten was the second highest finisher for the Highlanders, coming in 19th place with a time of 24 minutes, 46.2 seconds. He was followed by junior Stephen Crum, who placed 26 in 24 minutes, 57.5 seconds bettering his 2009 time in the race by more than half a minute. BYU's Miles Batty won the race for the second consecutive season, finishing in 23 minutes, 41.1 seconds, just under six seconds faster than second place finisher Cameron Levins. The 16th ranked Cougars took home the team title, placing three runners in the top five and all seven of their scorers in the top 16 spots. The um, well, game plan was kind of just put myself in the mix, uh, not lead at all early, and just see what happened at the end of the race, and uh, just go out and have some fun. I feel like it was a good start. I mean, it was our first, you know, race for people actually getting out, getting after it a little bit, and um, you know, it's fun. We got, I think, our team stuck ourselves up there, which is what we wanted to do. So uh, I was pleased with that. Um, so yeah, the race was pretty slow getting out. We were about 4:55 or so for first mile, which for us isn't you know anything quick. Um, so it's really packed up. I know BYU is like making um, they're getting themselves positioned at the front of the pack around three miles or so, and I knew that they're setting up to make a move. Um, of course, with a mile to go, a uh, baddie from um, BYU started to make a move and. Um, went with them for a while. He did throw in a couple surges that I think kind of took the kick out of my legs, but um, overall, yeah, decent race. Well, today we were trying to get started on the season with uh, good aggressive racing, but kind of leaving a little bit in the tank for the rest of the season. And I thought both teams executed really well. We kind of held back and then came on strong at the end. And uh, women did really well beating UC Santa Barbara, which is the uh, conference defending champs. And then our men finished second in the men's race, uh, only losing to nationally ranked BYU. So, got to feel pretty good about the day. Uh, on the men's side, Chad and Seth, uh, Chad Hall and Seth Totten, our freshmen, did a really nice job up front. And then uh, we had four guys actually in the top 20, so that's really good. Stephen Crum and Talal. 
And then uh, on the women's side, Dimaggio DuBose and Katie uh, Daly, both sophomores, did a great job. Uh, we're in the top 10 or 12 places in the, of the overall race. The Highlanders will host the Big West Conference Championship on Saturday, October 30th, beginning at 8.45 a.m. at the UCR Ag Ops course. For complete details, including ticket information, please visit GoHighlanders.com.